I don't understand. My aquarium was looking so good. Now I can't even see my fish. And it looks like I have iced tea like this in my tank. This is a nightmare. Dark aquarium water is very common in the aquarium hobby. And I'm gonna explain in this video some of the reasons why you may have it and why your aquarium water might look like this. And even better than that, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to prevent it. Or if you're like me, maybe you love it and you wanna keep it. Yes, it's true, some people love dark water and they do it on purpose and they want it for all their tanks. Before we start to correct this issue, we need to understand why it happened to begin with. The first reason your aquarium water is dark should be pretty obvious. Eh, the water's just dirty, right? Think about what happens if you mix water and dirt together. You get mud. If you've ever been to a river or a lake, you see what dirty water looks like. It's murky and dark, and you certainly wouldn't want to drink it or even put your hands in it. Well, your aquarium is no different. If you don't clean it and you just let the water get all gross and nasty and poop collect everywhere and algae grow all over the place, your water is just going to be dark and cloudy. John's 360 is a great example of this. He's got three grown Oscars, three huge bikers, Bashirs, whatever, however you want to say it, and two Severums, a Playco. I don't know. It's just a lot of big fish in that 360, and it stays dirty. Thankfully, he has me here because if he didn't, then this tank would be a nightmare because it would stay pretty dirty. I get in there and I clean it every once in a while, not trying to toot my own horn. I do take care of this fish a lot of times. No, 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 don't drink the water. I just said no drinking the water or putting your paws in it or hands. Okay, you can drink it. Okay. All right, if you want to drink it. So the first cause of dark water is dirty water. Don't be lazy. The next thing that causes your water to be dark are things that leach into the water that causes the tannins. Think about it like you're placing a tea bag in water. How does that look after about 10 or 15 minutes? Pretty dark. So I'm gonna give you an example of some dark water tanning type of situation where the tannins leach into the water. This right here is dark water that I pulled out of this little tote right here that I have some magnolia pods soaking in. I soak these magnolia pods before I stick them in my alien sorority tank because I just want to make sure that all of the anything bad that's in there is out because I got it from my yard. But also, it, it definitely helps to get the more darker stuff out, too. Common tanning causing items would be fancy pieces of woods that aquascapers love using, like leaf litter, cones, and different types of leaves like catapa, also known as Indian almond leaves, and also magnolia leaves. And I have a ton of those. I go collecting in my yard and I collect all kinds of stuff like my magnolia leaves and I also have some sycamore leaves. And the really cool thing about my sycamore leaves, they come in all different sizes. So I can use the little teeny ones in my nano tanks and the bigger ones, they go in my discus tank or they go in my alien sorority. So it's a lot of fun. Even the magnolia leaves are teeny tiny. But the most common type of wood in the aquarium hobby is driftwood and it causes tannins to leach into your water, especially if you're not, you know, cleaning it or soaking it prior to putting it in your tank. Now this is a eucalyptus root and I know it's not a driftwood, but this is what I had on hand at the moment. And I really think it's a super cool piece. And no, it's not for sale on our website because I'm keeping it for myself. So this is a story that's been told a million times. I was at the pet store and I found this amazing piece of driftwood that I thought would look perfect in my tank. So I bought it, brought it home, and I threw it right in. 
yeah, you forgot to soak it, right? Everything was great until four to five days later and my water started turning black. You need to know that these products will cause your water to be dark. Yes, there's ways to prevent that and we'll talk about those, but if you don't already know this, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna blow your mind. Tannins in the water is actually a good thing. It makes the water healthier for your fish. I know, right? These products contain humic acid and tannins, which have antibacterial properties. They naturally lower your pH and they create black water conditions, which are more desirable for a lot of fish like betas and angels and uh, tetras, discus, and even shrimp. Believe it or not, even them. So, you know, I love them. And I have them in a whole lot of my tanks. Now, this doesn't mean if your fish are sick, you should put a catapa leaf in there and it'll cure them. These aren't medications, they just make the water healthier overall for your fish. And it, isn't it better to prevent an illness because you're causing a less stressful situation for your fish? I use a bunch of these things in my tank to cause a more natural environment, things that I could just go pick up in my yard. Like I was saying, the magnolia leaves that I constantly keep soaking and I have a huge tote of them over, over there, you can't see it, but I have a huge tote of them because I save them and I collect them all the time. Or you can just go and grab some things off the shelf because we do have a website and I can use the, oops, katapa leaves or the nature box. And the really cool thing about the nature box is it has these cute little cones. They're so adorable and my shrimp love them. We sell them, just so you know. We even sell an entire box of nothing but these cute little Kazarani Rana cone things. And if you don't want to mess with like all the sticks and leaves and, and all that kind of stuff, you're just trying to keep it simple, there's dark water. Yes, there's something for everybody. Dark water. It's everything you want in a bottle. Anyways, we sell all of these wonderful products on our website keepfishkeeping.com and John talked about that website before like it's the best one in the whole world or whatnot and that's so silly of him and it's cute but uh I agree all of these things are ready to go you just put them in your tank and get all the benefits and yes they'll make the water darker some people love that look and you know some people hate it me I I think some of the most amazing tanks I've ever seen are dark water tanks. If you wanna see some amazing examples of black water aquascaping, you should check out my favorite dark water aquascaper, Melanie Holmes. Mel specializes in scaping in this style and she shows how gorgeous a tank could look if it scaped this way. Like, they're my favorite. She uses all of the different types of wood and leaf litter to make some of the most incredible scapes you've ever seen. I've even sent her some of my magnolia leaves from my yard. Anyways, I'll put a link to all of her social medias down below. I gotta be honest, in the near future, I'm gonna be setting up a discus tank and I've talked to Mel about this tank and what my expectations are of it. And we're trying to see if maybe we can work something out where she could come and uh, escape it with me. Let me know in the comments section below if you think that would be a great idea or not. I think it would be. So I've spent the last several minutes talking about making dark water in aquariums intentionally but you probably read the title of this video and want to know what to do if your water got all dark and you don't want it to be that way. Maybe you bought a decoration, your water's all dark, and what do you do? Well, it's easier to not let it get that way to begin with, so let's talk about that. When you see that perfect decoration at your pet store, look at the tag. Some of them will say they've been pre-soaked. This is a rare find, but if you're lucky enough to get one, you should be good to put it straight in your tank. But most likely what you'll find is raw wood that hasn't been treated at all. 
the best way to get all of the tannins out is to boil the pieces of wood before you put it in your tank. This means you'll need to take the biggest pot you have, fill it with water, heat it to a boil, and place the wood in it. You'll see the water get super dark, and when it is, dump the water out, fill it up again, heat to a boil, and put the wood back in. Repeat this process as many times as it takes for the water to no longer get dark. I've done this many times and sometimes it takes a few different times to get the water clear. And you know, that that's just the way it is. Sorry, but mm. there's really no way to know how long it's going to take. We sell the eucalyptus roots on our website and those usually clear out really quick, but Malaysian driftwood, that can take five or six soaks before they clear out. It's pretty frustrating, but if you don't want the wood to change the color of your tank, it's worth it. Now this shouldn't need to be said, but I should probably say it just in case. Not all decorations need to be soaked. It's pretty much just going to be your wood. I can see it in the comment section now. Well, Lisa, I boiled my plastic plant and now it's pretty wonky. Don't boil the plastic plants. You laugh, but if I didn't say that, you don't see all of the comments in the comment section like we do. Anyway, what if it's too late? You didn't boil the wood, you stuck it straight in the tank, and now your water looks all like, you know, you boil tea in it. Well, there's two strategies. First, if you can let the tannins leach out naturally and do water changes until it's all out, this could take a long time though, so if you're someone like John that really doesn't want dark water in his tanks, you'll be doing water changes every couple days. And you know what? That's a huge hassle. So instead of that, the easiest thing to do is just remove whatever's causing those tannins and do that soak boil thing that I was talking about a few minutes ago. It's just going to save you a lot more time. While the wood is soaking, you just need to do a big water change in your aquarium to get all the other dark water out. Isn't that right, baby kitty? You don't want to drink that water. It's gross. And it might take a few water changes, and that's okay, but just be prepared for that so you're not thinking, oh, Lisa said to just do one water change and it'll be perfectly fine. No, it might take a few still. Now you can see why I said to get all the tannins out before you actually do your scape. Oh, there's hair everywhere. I think there's something that needs to be said about the people that did come to this video because they're scared and they see the stark water and they don't know what to do. The first thing I want you to know is that if you've discovered that your water is dark and it's probably from tannins, obviously, don't panic. I've never heard of tannins hurting fish. Actually, the opposite. So don't freak out and tear your aquarium down and take everything out and think you have to do some major cleaning. Just take a deep breath, calm down, do what I've suggested already, and your fish are gonna be fine. I promise. Hey. Hey, I watched that video this morning, the one where you're like giving John all that extra love in the video. Hey baby, baby kitty, I feed you. I bring you meow meow every day. I scoop your kitty litter, remember? Remember? Yeah, I do that for you, not him. So there you go. I hope I've given you a better understanding of how tannins work in your aquarium. If I did, you might want to subscribe because we do videos like this all the time. Also, did you see the most amazing beta system that John built for me? If you want to see it, just click right here. Oh, and, and don't forget to subscribe. Did I already say that? Still, don't forget, because just do it.